Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and thanks for coming to the channel. Today we're going to learn some super exciting stuff in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Today the topic on the video is going to be how to merge your items in QuickBooks Point of Sale. So I'm just looking at my item list right now. If you don't know how to get to the item list, here's the main screen and here is the item list. And we are going to talk about when two items show up on your list you've created or you or your employees have created two items and somehow they are the same item and there was some confusion. Usually I see merging of items happen when there's been confusion or there's been a lack of communication within your company and so you end up with two items that happen to be the same exact item. Oh no! Before we do this I'm going to tell you to click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Knowledge Group on Facebook. Join up there and you can ask questions about troubleshooting or errors or request a video for this channel and people such as myself and other community members will answer you and we'll have a wonderful community dialogue. If you're on YouTube right now don't forget to hit subscribe so you can get all the latest greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming out all the time. Alright let's do this. So like I was saying um, perhaps in your store uh, you have a manager, you have yourself, you have some employees, sometimes different people are creating different items or sometimes different people are ordering items because you're low and they don't know what to do exactly or there's a lack of communication. So in my particular store, uh, at, at first early on in the store we were ordering super pants. But then later on somebody couldn't find that or they got a box in and the box said wonder pants on it. And so they were like, well, we don't have Wonder Pants. I don't see those. So they entered these in. And so uh, some of your employees have been receiving quantities on Super Pants. And some of your employees have been receiving in Wonder Pants. Or they haven't been, but they've been selling Wonder Pants. And they've been receiving Super Pants. And it's just a big mess. So what do you do, right? Well, what you're going to have to do is merge the items. Let's find that again. Okay, so the real item name is Super Pants, and whatever employee created Wonder Pants, uh, we're going to have a talk with them and make sure that they don't do this again. But here is how you're going to do it. You're going to merge these together so that all of the receiving and all of the sales are all going to end up under one single item, and everything under the sun is going to be wonderful again. It's going to be so great. All right. So I got super pants and I'm going to go on the I want to menu and I'm going to go to merge. And here we are. So we're going to keep this item. It's going to be the super pants item. And then it wants to know which item we want to remove. So I'm going to type in wonder and it's going to find it right away. I'm going to click on that. And so here we can see we're keeping super pants we are removing wonder pants and if you've somehow accidentally looked these up backwards and decided oh wait this is the one that I want you can hit the swap button and it'll keep the other one and it'll move this one over here and you can see uh, I'm gonna swap back because I want to keep super pants alright so we're gonna merge these items it's gonna give us a little uh, warning uh, that there's an adjustment memo in the adjustment history that is going to be affected there might be a number of different warnings here. Usually they're all fine. It's just telling you what's going to happen and what documents in the histories are going to be affected. So we're going to merge these items. There we go. The merge was successful. The items have been successfully merged. Now I can see under super pants all of the um, quantities should have been combined together. Any receiving or selling documents should all be in the history. If I go down to the bottom of my list, Wonder Pants has ceased to exist. It no longer is there and they've been merged together. Congratulations, you've merged your items and now you can go on receiving and selling that item with pleasure and wonder and <laughs> it's all right. You just have yourself a great day because you learned this and now you know what to do in the future if this ever happens. Leave comments and questions below if you want and I'll respond back to you. Otherwise, have a stupendous day. Bye-bye.